Welcome to Team Fortress TV number two. Seems to be uh, something wrong here. For some reason, your boy Admirable, TurboTabs and Sim are in stream two. What is this? I'll tell you what it is, TurboTabs. It's the ETF2L Season 23 powered by TT Esports Premiership Week 6 fixture between DD plus 5 abs and Lego. It's going to be Gullywash and Product. And uh, I'm going to let you take over, man, with the stats presentation. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I've been firming at the mouth to get these stats up. Let's see if... Uh... What do you feel like talking about, my I've got saloon.tf, etf 2 tables, or we can delve into the team sheet. What, what are you feeling? I know what the, the fans want. They want to know, what are the odds on the game? Hit me with those saloon stats. All right, your wish is my command, and bam! You should see them right before your very eyes, and uh, oh god, the eyes are looking very red admirable. Not surprising to see uh, Lego up there, even though they do have their uh, cross to, to carry that is Dr. Phil. He's back on the, on the team after his excursion to England. They don't have uh, the Demul or the Tech Carry. But they're still definitely favourites for this fixture. I don't know what the uh, handicap was on Saloon, but it's uh, definitely the correct result here to see 82% of the general public thinking that Lego are going to win this game. You have to put them as a big favourites here after they took that map off Perilous. Yeah, they did uh, shake the rust off at the beginning of the season, and they seem to be shaping up now to look like that fourth place team that everyone kind of placed them to be. Uh, third, or if I should say third place team now, now that there isn't uh, an Epsilon or a TF2 center, excuse me, team knocking about anymore. But uh, I don't know, man, DD plus five friends have been doing pretty well for themselves. Uh, at least I would say. Yeah, they uh, had an upset a couple of weeks ago, managed to uh, scrape a Golden Cat, or they actually beat uh, Team Infused. They had that Golden Cap win and the, the full map win back in week four, but the wind was taken out of their sails then against Publiclear the following week. But they do have QNX now, who replaced Feeling two weeks ago. Things are uh, looking decent for them. I'm sure they're still confident. Hit me up with uh, some more stats, Turbo. All right, let's head over to the DD plus five uh, friends team sheet while we are kind of delving into that, uh, I guess, that roster. Uh, if I'm just going to give the old classic roster rundown, it will be Honey Badger over on Medic, Shappy, or I guess Shappy on this picture, uh, over on Demo Man. QNX, like you said before, will be playing the pocket role. You've got DD, uh, and uh, I almost said DD plus five friends, it's actually DD5F, the, uh, I guess, the name maker of the team. The market gardener himself, and you've got also Joberg and Ixi over on that scout class. What a team, admirable. Interesting to see Shappy is the third best demo man in Prem. I think a lot of people would give him that title, but according to the stats, all three of those stats, KD, KD, and DPM, he is the number three ranked demo man in the Premiership right now. How much work is he doing for his team? Well, uh... I think he's just like the constant, almost like the backbone for the team. He seems to uh, just be the unsung hero, whilst you've always got DD plus uh, D5F going in with the market gardener, Ixi, uh, kind of wrapping up and uh, taking the glory moments with his DM, Joe Berg and Honey Badger and whatnot being personalities. And of course, QNX with a legacy like that, who's uh, always been known to be a solid pocket, he's always, uh, I guess, just left to the background. Show me the next roster. All right. Let me see. All right. Hopefully it's worked. Oh, I see the magic. It's Lego. All right. Over on the Lego squad, we've got Bondom on Medic, Dr. Phil on Demo Man, Josh on Pocket Soldier, Demul or Godmul on Roma, and we've also got Aizon and Sorex. This is the Italian Sorex, keep in mind, over on Scout. I said, you know, some people might be surprised to see uh, Kraftas or Shappy as the third best MMA in Prem, but nobody's surprised to see that Demul is one of the worst soldiers in Prem. Just want to put that out there. <laughs> I think it's uh, probably doesn't have that many stats over on Soldier because he just likes to off class so much admirable. He he seems well, like every other moment true. he's over on Sniper. These stats are only representative of the time they play on their main classes, so uh, <laughs> we don't get to see the full impact of Demul's play. I'm sure his stats would skyrocket otherwise. Yeah, he's played Spy, Sniper, Demo Man, 
Hell, I'm sure there's some scout thrown in there at some point, and we might even get some scout tonight in Mario Bros. I think we're going to be playing some Viaduct later. Oh yeah, the return of product. Uh, it's really going to test these teams, uh, especially when you consider that DD plus uh, Five Abs are kind of making their premiership debut on product at least. Uh, looking at the the Lego stats, though, Doctor Phil, he's hanging down low there in the demo man rankings. Uh, Definitely someone that the Chappie will be looking to exploit, see if he can uh, take advantage of Dr. Phil's lackluster stats. But look at Condom up there, the third best medic in the Prem, on kills and assists per death. He and uh, Josh making a pretty formidable combo, I think. Yeah, they're one of the few teams that like to rock that crit uh, a lot. I think there was a famous showing of it over when they were playing against uh, Planet Express a couple of weeks ago, maybe even last week. And... Uh, yeah, I think that was just the main culprit of these high stats, but I'm not going to take it away from Condom. He is a uh, talented medic, uh, despite what Twitch chat like to say. What? Uh, what's the last stat uh, presentation? Like, or what else? All right, we can uh, we can all encapsulate this off with a nice ETF to our table. Look at the grand stands of. Uh, over the past six weeks and where teams have fallen and uh, right now all I can see at Mariable is LEGO have got that third place spot like uh, everyone's predicted them to have but uh, there's still two more weeks at Mariable. Yeah, DD plus five will be looking to take all six points here but even if they did that they still wouldn't be able to manage to creep above LEGO uh, but they could steal their way into that fourth playoff spot and uh, they definitely believe that they can do it. Like after that team infused game, they felt like they were starting to show their true potential. Uh, let's see what they have against Lego here tonight. I mean, Lego haven't been uh, practicing as much with their main roster. Perhaps that's going to play an effect. I believe uh, in the power of Chappie. I believe in uh, Honey Badger coming into the Premiership as a new shot calling medic and just mixing things up a little bit. I want to see some upsets here tonight, Turbo Tabs. Are we both going to be back in the power of DD plus 5 abs? Of course, man. I was, I was a DD plus 5 uh, friends, I guess you could say fanboy from the very start. Almost. Practically. Maybe. Maybe I should, uh, you know, Lego then? You know, I'm, I'm a long time uh, conflicted Lego fan. I always wanted them to do well. Always hated to watch them play. But then, you know, they got this new aggressive roster over the last couple of seasons. If, uh, They've kind of taken a lackadaisical approach to TF2 this season. Maybe a lot of teams have, but I haven't seen the progress I wanted to see from them this season. But I still believe Lego. I'm going to back Lego. It's it's a battle of the casters here. <laughs> all right, let me get my DD plus five friend shirt on. Let's get this all nice and official and waiting. Uh, but yeah, I can I can see why you go with Lego. Uh, the fact is that they still have all this experience behind them and it can still passively work in there whilst you're playing TF2. You don't quite have to grind away uh, as much as you, I guess, have to. But uh... It's no coincidence that in the, the pre-game warm-up, Sorex has 100 points. I fully expect him to do the same in the main 30 minutes here on Galia Wash. Yeah, these oh, teams are taking a long time to get started. We were kind of uh, I guess barreling through all these uh, these stat pages, uh, hoping that they would start pretty quickly, but uh, it seems they're taking the time. Yeah, I don't know why. They're probably uh, waiting for us or something silly like that. Maybe I should just you know send them a friendly reminder. They all seem to be offline on Steam though. You know they don't want to get DDoSed. Oh, I find one. Oh wait, Sim says, uh, don't tell him to go yet. His plugins are crashing. Sim, I find that out. Earlier on today, that uh, data spec, a really old version, was crashing for me. So uh, perhaps consider getting the new one, or I don't know, just panic. Everybody panic, panic in Twitch chat, please. Picnic basket. <laughs> Throw up some Dan's games there. Some what fa what faces? It is a state of emergency here. Don't panic. <laughs> Well, admirable. The first map we will be playing tonight, though, is Gully Wash, though. What can you tell me about Gully Wash? Do you like the map? I love every map in TF2, even you, Cole Plant. But, what about uh, Bazillion? Oh, definitely a big fan of Bazillion. What a missed opportunity. <laughs> Arnold, come back. All is forgiven. But uh, Gully Wash, you know, historically, people 
disliked the map when it was first released. Basilian didn't get that same chance. Uh, but, you know, you've got a very easy last hold, perhaps, or it used to be. People have mapped it out well. We're going live anyway, but uh, you got the two entrances between second and third that can slow the game down sometimes, but uh, we're going to have an exciting mid-fight coming up right now here as we see DD plus five abs lined out in blue and Lego in red here onto the first middle, and it's a, a delayed bomb up there from DD plus five and Q and X, Rex Sorex, mid-air, and they're setting up here for the push forward, but God Mool has come up behind, already killed off Schuberg and finds Shappy as well, takes out that all-star demo man. And right now, it's looking pretty disastrous for DD plus 5 abs. They're trying to find frags to just swing the, the man advantage back in their favour. They can't do, but XE does kill off Condom, that crucial med pick, just to save a little face on middle. Yeah, it seems uh, what worked for Lego on that mid there was Josh went in with the aggressive bomb, but whilst they were dealing with Josh, they didn't notice that Godmore actually managed to get behind them via that drop down, and he just managed to uh, get that second second swing in and decimate them there. As they're making a repush in over on DD plus five friends. Joe Burger's catching a lot of flak, but he does get healed up by a nice push crossbow from Honey Bird. Honey Badger, so that's going to reset things, and Lego are going to have to come up with a plan whilst they build out this Uber on mid. If you're wondering why you keep hearing the Bionic Man sounds, it's the new Crusader's Crossbows hit sound. Whenever you hit someone in the healing, it makes this like... <laughs> if you haven't been following TF2, you know, or uh, playing it since the update this week, that's exactly what that is, but uh, Valve continuing to pump out some uh, actually useful updates in the lead up to matchmaking hype. Yeah, he's firmly in the mouth to get their hands on the beta, but they can't quite give out the beta passage yet. They've given that to, to community makers, but uh, I'm sure everyone will get a taste of it very, very soon. But, uh, yeah, it's a very interesting change. I, I don't think anybody was ever complaining about the crossbow sound whatsoever, but uh, I don't know, maybe Valve have a... It's a good plan. game design decision, because like if you're in a fight against someone who is constantly being kept alive by arrows, you don't really realise it, perhaps. Uh, more so if you're like a, a hover or not like a really dedicated competitive. But right now, action happening as DD gets caught out on the flank there with the combo of Lego coming rushing through that big door area. They're happy to get that one pick. They're going to slow things down now, get their buffs up and look to see if they can extend this man advantage. And Sorex just swarm rushes, catches Shabby there, and Crits gets popped off here by Lego. Condom whipping out that Crits, forces out the Uber there from Honey. He seemed a little bit flustered. They've decided to rotate up top here, but Lego. I trying to work their way in here despite being down in players. This could be disastrous for the past. Yeah, you actually see uh, the rest of DD5 there. They're trying to get on top of Condom. They actually will finish him off. Godwell's trying to uh, equalize it there with his own medic pick. But oh, God, the, uh, the uh, Mark Jarvis comes out. It doesn't quite get Mark, uh, Mark Jarvis. It's not a grip. It's not a grip. Yeah, it's not official. It doesn't count. But uh, it does the job just as well as any other shovel, so they will claim this uh, free midpoint now, and Honey is sitting on a nice, healthy 40% advantage admirable. Apologies, uh, viewers, for our technical difficulties here today, but thanks for sticking with us. There is, of course, another game happening right now. Uh, stream on Public Air versus Team Infuse with Commander X, Warrior yeah, and Sim, and the third game is actually being recorded locally by David, so you'll have to catch someone on YouTube, I'm afraid. But action continues here, and uh, we see Uber Advantage available to Honey, and they're already trying to move through here, but Josh is waiting above the choke drops down, but QNX reads it like a book and crushes that attempt to force his medic. And uh, that Uber Advantage is slowly but surely just uh, being pissed away here, but they do get territory for free at least. Yeah, um, I don't think it's so bad, like, uh, they're getting the point nonetheless, it's uh, no difference if we use the Uber in and point in. This time at least it just keeps things even and it prevents that seesaw back and forth and Lego can't quite make that push in that they want to do. So they're holding the lobby right now and QNX still wants to go with it. Oh, a drop coming out by Honey! Uh, on the Dr. Phil Sticky Trap, I don't know what he was expecting there, it's a very typical spot for uh, Stickies to be held over on that shutter door, so that will be a drop by Honey. Condom's managed to sustain himself in this lobby and everyone's trying to get at him, but DD5F will be cleaned up amongst those attempts. And, uh, God, what a shambles, admirable. Oh, Dr. Phil with the clutch it was sticky there to save himself from Schubert who gone right into his face. Phil stays alive and that's going to create some momentum here for Lego as they take control of CP2 and create a little breathing room for themselves and they're, they're ready to go. Just so exit choke, but the rest of the team all seem to be going 
big door here. Plenty of room to jump through, try and make some space. Ooh. The Exe's waiting for them with that scope. Dome Stalker fill and immediately Lego are in retreat here. Gonna wait for oh, that cool. charge. Wow. Uh, Josh even going to get finished off there in the drop down area by me with his crossbow, his new fancy sound uh, all, all as well. Joburg has been taken out though during the mix of all things. Uh, Godmull looks like he wants to go into the thick of things though with this uber shot. Actually no, they're kind of deciding to back off now but you have to keep in mind they, they have an uber advantage. They need to really make use of it before it dwindles away. There's only 10% left until Homie gets his. Sorex is taking a peek here at Choke, he's starting to walk through with that buff, hoping to catch somebody out, maybe a Shappy, but very passive play here from DD and those five abs. God Mills actually in the drop down right now and he's firing rockets so he's giving away his position and a drop coming in Condor responds to Huddy's previous drop with one of his own QNX, the beneficiary of that as they move forward here through Choke and just crush faces. Sorex is alive in the middle. Uh, he jukes DD5F for two rockets there. Did zero damage, but finally they do end up trading. But it's only Phil and Condom up right now for Lego, and there's nothing they can do to deny this capture would have. Yeah, but Phil's waiting about in that lobby area with some stickies. Actually, he's detonating now and starting to back off uh, with the rest of his team and uh, set up a solid defense on last. Uh, it looks like they're opting to go with the engineer on, on this last point. It does a, a very good job of kind of kiting out that Uber, delaying it, uh, spending some uh, time wasted on taking out that sentry gun, and that engineer can just come back as any other class, scout, heavy, whatever you like, and prepare for almost a second defense. He's on, just steadily bashing away at that sentry gun. He demands the level 3. The TF2 gods demand tribute in the form of a level 3 sentry, and here it is. It's going to launch DD5 out of range of that Uber flash, and both E and QNX oh, don't have the life saving Uber. Honey gets launched forward as well, but they somehow manage to find frags here as Shabby and QNX pick up Josh, and uh, it's only God Mool and Dr. Phil left alive. Ixie's just dancing around here, but Honey's long gone. Oh, he's actually coming in again. He's thinking of fighting Phil. The no. arrow doesn't connect. Now he's going to run. No, he doesn't dare. The respawners do come up for Lego now. And uh, I guess in a spur of the moment he could have done, but uh, the fact that he wasted so much time deciding what he wanted to do, it was the best choice to just back out there. Maybe he could have just got a nice crossbow kill and then backed out uh, nonetheless anyway. Honey will... Uh, actually, the Ubers uh, come uh, quite even for both the teams. I guess the fact that... Uh, Condom just uh, respawned in time. He was one of the first to go down in that uh, that last defense, but whilst they were firing at the medic, they weren't firing at all the people with guns in mobile, and they just fired back, and it allowed LEGO to make that last defense. I like this uh, cheeky sentry switch up here from Aizon. He's building a new level 3, he hopes, uh, but he's put it on the small med pack there. I think it might have been spotted out, but this is a really difficult position. Because the attackers can't spam it down without committing themselves to the push here, so it doesn't cover the point, but it's going to be a real pain because it's going to both juggle those Ibrid players and uh, per perhaps deny the flankers trying to get in here. That scout Exe is dancing on top of it, it's getting lunged forward. Sidri isn't doing that much damage, but it is that seventh man. Condom survives on nine health there to that uh, two player suicide. Doesn't pop. That was a lot of belief coming from the Icelandian as they are looking to push out now. They're just checking all their doorways, making sure everywhere's covered and there's no possible back cap. But Ixie and DD5F are just respawning now. They popped off that Uber to try and get into the second point. And the new account Uber has been popped off by Honey, and it's only on Joburg though. He can't quite reach uh, uh, Godmull though. He just manages to snag him with that pistol. Oh, he even bitch slaps the Dr. Phil in that lower area as well. Comes, helps out uh, DD5F uh, plus F with Josh who was hanging about in that. Uh, uh, that big door area. They're looking to make this push off now just from uh, player advantage alone, but they're just trying to make their way in here. They do take out the sentry gun. He's trying to rebuild it. Eisen doesn't want to switch back to class though. He doesn't need no stinking class. He's cleaning up everybody's engineer. Good God. Eisen. Get slammed. Sometimes you just need a little more gun. And uh, uh oh, QNX is hiding top right. He gets spot out. He's going to jump. Oh, there shot. <laughs> Get slammed. Tag team there by Demul and Sorex, Italy and France combining to take down Norway. And now they're on the back foot here, DD plus five friends. They haven't quite got the heels that they were looking for around this choke area. Honey's still kind of working his way around. He's designed to spot his sniper at Big Door, who can't quite find the shot that he's looking for. Josh and Dr. Phil have already cut off that avenue. It looks like the easiest midpoint of LEGO's lives. They have got a full Uber. 
uber advantage, uh, very raring to go. They just need to get in there and pop it off to see if they can get a few uh, frags on top of them, but they're just wasting so much time here. They need to just get on the horses and go. Josh went a little too fast though, I suppose. Now they're just dropping everyone like flies. People on the flank are going down, people in the main big door going down. I guess this is not the push that they were looking for. Still have that uh, full uber charge. And, oh, look at this pressure. XT's able to walk forward because of this man advantage available to DD plus 5 abs. DD's actually in himself and Kongon oh, just Dr. doesn't want to play this game. Pops off the uber. Phil goes forward, picks up two kills off Schuberg and Ixie. They can't uh, quite get honey though. They're chasing honey. Oh, that's lo and behold, Dr. Pill can get honey. He's finished him off and now it's just poor little chappy. Can the third best demo man in ETF to well, according to the stats anyways, uh, pull out a... I guess this, this nail back to Godmull though says no, he takes out that player and that's a demo man down for this last defense. Sure, you have a few players in the form of Ixie picking up the pieces, but Lego's already turned up and arrived and it's so difficult for these soldiers of DD plus five friends to get in, but they're still capping that second point at Bible. By the time uh, they do that, they've lost all the players. <laughs> Honey even gets a slice onto Sorex. That's gonna throw the Ubers into all sorts of confusion and now Godmull's even gone sniper. There's no time to play about my Bible. It's a brave medic that uh, rushes Sorex down, but uh, he and Didi manage to trap him underneath there in that shady area. And that does pretty much tie up the Uber situation, so well played to Honey. Uh, we do see a sentry gun coming up here from the eponymous DD5F. And he's going to be uh, switching off Rumor because Schuberg is actually playing heavy here with that Thomas lab. Uber coming in on me and. Oh, Honey's gone down, he went down to the Ninety-five percent. It seems Condom was building just a little bit better. Condom does go down though during all that effort, but he's done his job. He's Ubered in all his teammates, and all his teammates just suck at Mybel. They're not clicking on anybody quite well enough as they are being finished off just here and there. But Sorex is still alive there, and he's doing a much better job than the rest of his team. Well, I guess maybe they just uh, did all the damage, and uh, Sorex just came up and cleaned everybody. That's all uh, LEGO need to do, just leave enough weak players around for Sorex to uh, click on them. And that first round took about 12 minutes. We're finally going to middle number two here. Who do we want to watch Turbo Tabs? Well, I think we have to watch Dr. Phil here. Let's see what he has planned for this middle as he does arrive uh, somewhat on time. It's just kind of uh, sizing up the enemy demo man for so, uh, so far. No pressure immediately set up upon him. Uh, the first blood will actually go to Chappie. I was watching the wrong demo man that mid, and it seems there's no aggression really coming out. But, uh, oh, well, uh, in saying that, uh, I do see a few kills uh, going to Sorex of the way. Now he's re entering the fight from this big door area, so he can muscle his way back in. You can even see the rest of the Lego trying to pack him up. Honey's been caught out slightly. Oh, a nice little combination of kills. Everything's is just going down in mere seconds. Uh, they just kind of force the issue on DD plus. Five. They just can't quite get a grip on this Lego as they try to push him from that choke and they succeeded in my book. Luckily for uh, me, you were there to cast that middle. My game crashed when I tried to switch player using a number bind. I think it beats him. Alright, well, everyone, let me paint you a picture of my Uh Meanwhile, in the second point, they're just claiming this uh, second point for three. They've got the 100% advantage. Honey is sitting on a pitiful 20%. He has to. Uh, get as many uh, time wasting classes as they can, as they can. so they get uh, they start rocking the pyro Ixi who's watching that left hand side they're actually uh, sitting on the pipes on the, covering all these doors he's actually doing a wonderful job of pushing out Dr. Phil and Condom right now the scouts have to turn out but they can't quite land the shots on it but that's brought enough time for uh, Joburg who's sitting on that heavy weapons uh, guy and he's blitzed that, those couple of scouts that went in with that uber Dr. Phil does clean up a nice kill onto QNX but uh, it's just a, a errand little piece that they're on their little push out for DD5 plus friends and they will recapture that second point at my level. Kinda dangerous game to be playing here by DD. They've committed to this, even though they're technically outnumbered for the next few seconds as their respawns come forward and we see Josh and Godmill able to work away in here. Honey gets launched up top there on half health but doesn't pop despite two soldiers being in his face. Nice oh. protection there and Lego are just hemorrhaging players. There are only three up right now. Josh Condom, Sorex scrambling to try and make something happen. Condom sees, <laughs> but Sorex is going to find one. Oh. I can't find a second. Nice direct from QNX but uh, Godmull and Condom have managed to just stabilize things a little bit. They're being pressured by Shabby. Dr. Phil respawns but are they going to contest this? They don't have Uber yeah. yet. Honey wants to go though, he's got his uh, 
his Uber ready, they could just go in there. They've got the advantage, they have the license to just go ahead, but they're just waiting for all their players, just waiting for when the time is right. QNX is going the aggressive foot forward, but now they've got their own Uber over on the Convom crew. He actually pops it off, and Honey pops his off second, and now they're trying to hide tail it back into their own base. Convom just gets out by the skin of his teeth. The scout doesn't want to commit over on DD plus five friends. They just want to uh, grab a three point. Josh is making it difficult though, cleaning up a few of these scouts. He's cut off the, the exit from the big door area, but uh, an overextending eyes on makes it easy for DD5 friends, and that will be the second point of my ball. This is their opportunity now to uh, convert and get around here, tie things up. It's currently 1 0 to Lego, and we're just past that halfway mark here. We play 30 minutes in Europe, and uh, right now it's all on Didi and his five abs to try and break this Lego defense. We do see Ixie going to rock that sniper and uh, he's just charging up a shot here. He's going to look for that medic ankle shot. He's hoping for it. He sees the heavy instead, decides to tag him but only gets him down to half health there. Can't connect that critical headshot. And now he's giving away the fact that they are running a sniper here. So Lego can uh, try and react to that, pressure him back, spam him out. He's just trying to switch up his position here to see if he can catch them. At the moment where they're not paying attention, now he's going to go Riverside again, charging up that body shot. Little does he know there's a counter sniper on the field, but both snipers whiff their shots. But God Mill tries to pressure him, gets beat it into shabby stickies, and that's good enough. Yeah, but they do have, keep in mind they do have a sniper, and that's not the greatest class for pushing a Bible, unless you're absolutely on fire during these hot. Uh, I guess segments, you've got nobody covering you as your team is pushing in. You actually see DD5F is going for the bomb in uh, with what with the free pick and all, but uh, he does go down. It looks like he's going to respawn back up as soldier, probably with X. He already blocking that sniper, and it's back to the drawing board for DD for spy friends. X he tries to take a peek between those two white pipes, but uh, ends up hitting the metal instead of the medic. He's going to work his way down Riverside here and uh, just clear stickies. Doing a little mind sweeping for his team right now. He's really struggling to get in here. Perhaps it's going to be up to uh, Honey and QNX to go in and trade Ubers and then per make a play after that. But Ixie's just being pressured. He's got no cover below. Nobody's there to support him. So God Hill just says, OK, I'll take the free frag. And now Lego with the opportunity to push here. We see Josh going in deep. Gets that foresight. Now the counter pop from Condom. A few seconds. Milt here perhaps. No, it looks dead even I see as the Ubers fade, but Josh is going to commit. He's hungry for a frag. Honey's on half health, but so is Condom. And both teams at loggerheads here. A little territory taken in the lobby by Lego, but they have managed to push out and break this stranglehold that DD oh, plus 5 has had them. Pixie might have gone behind there. He actually wants to go from the front though. He takes on Sorax, cleans him up, but Josh got a pick on uh, Joburg, the flank over on the uh, top area in the meantime. DD5 F has even been pushed back by Josh. Josh can't quite find him though. He's going to get cleaned up, but he manages to find... Oh no, not in time though. He almost found him there, dude. But uh, Josh will go down. That's two players down for Lego. It looks like they can make a push out of this uh, over on DD plus 5 friends. They've already got some manpower in there. Phil is trying to get in though. He's gone down. That's, uh oh, this is bad news bears, but they've got a heavy weapons guy. And if there's anyone to hold the last point, it's going to be that heavy as he's sitting on the point right now. And DD5F do not want to contest it as Condom will have his Uber ready, raring to go. Even Joburg will get picked off by Sorex, who kind of found him wallowing about in that big door area. And things have just reset at Bible. Even though uh, DD plus five abs are having struggle to uh, a real struggle to break this Lego defense. They can take comfort in the fact there's still 12 minutes left and it's only a one round game right now. So they have plenty of time to feel, uh, you know, trial and error here, try and find something that works. So just catch a moment where Lego are slightly unlucky. They're doing good at the, not losing too many players in their pushes. They're able to kind of maintain this perimeter around that last point, even if they have to back out. Now they're back in again though, they're getting close and they're looking for that angle. They can hear that sentry build if you listen carefully, so they might be aware of the engineer threat. Ooh, uh, but also, look at Josh. It's Josh, uh, no, uh, it's Josh yeah, he's, or what? No, he's just checking. He's just checking there. A couple of uh, times though, like you see Josh constantly getting behind. Is that just Josh being Josh, or is he actually roaming now? Uh, I think he's just one of those people that likes to take matters into his own hands. Uh, Josh will actually been, uh, be pushed back by this Uber. They actually Uber in to kind of exchange things out. Q and X get stuck though uh, behind Sentry Gun Fire. They even clean up another kill onto Joburg. It's not quite Joburg's game, it seems, right now. Maybe he can quite pick up the slack in this last 10 minutes or so, as they are just uh, kicking about right now. They reset. Oh, they're distracted. Again. 
Didi was underneath there and he drew like three of them back where Lego probably could have pushed out in that with the sentry gun behind to watch last. They couldn't because of that Didi threat. He manages to actually trade underneath with Aizon but uh, Lego reluctant to really commit to that and as a result throughout this push we see Honey has managed to get himself a pretty tidy uber advantage of about 20%. Yeah, that's the advantage of going for these uber trades. If you're the first one to uber in, you will have that uber just a little bit longer. But usually it takes a few attempts at doing this to kind of really draw out the gap. But it seems the efficient building is enough. Honey needs to go right now, though, to really make advantage, uh, advantageous of this uh, uh, this percentage. But he's just taking way too long. It looks like they don't want to push with it. And Conlon's going to get that full 100% too. But it looks like they wanted to take out that sentry gun before they did any sort of pushing. Honey goes in, but his scout has dropped down there. Can't quite get on top, but uh, Condom has been brought down low enough uh, that he does pop up his own Uber. And Josh is going forward ahead of things. He's now managed to uh, clock onto Honey there, but no one's paid attention to the back cap by Ixie. Everyone was trying, uh, foaming at the mouth to get that onto that medic, but they just weren't paying attention to the objective of Minor War. Yeah, even though that looked like a kind of bad Uber coming in from Honey, it, the crucial pick there, I think it's Schoberg onto uh, Dr. Phil, so as soon as the Redemo Man's down, like a real gamble for Lego to push out there, no stickies on the point, and Ixie just takes advantage of that, and it's 1-1 one, one here, 9 minutes on the clock as we go to middle number 3, Godmill's going to go fast to the drop down, I'm not sure if anyone's even reacting, nobody's looking there, Shabby's already half out, Godmill's going to clean his life with two rockets, and now <laughs> it's distracting both Ixie and Schoberg here, doing so much work for his teammates, Josh is able to jump forward with impunity, but Dr. Phil gets gunned down, and meanwhile, <laughs> the rest of LEGO have been slammed, both medics have gone down and now it's Didi and Ixie versus Josh and Sorex. They seem to be making this work for them but Sorex is still decent health, he's hiding behind the point but Didi's going to hear that hit beep, he knows he's there, Ixie's, Ixie's the begging back. for this health back, he's like please come back health back, oh and good god he does make use of that health back, Ixie will win out on that 1v1 but it was close in my book. Actually, there's a second mid now. I hope you've uh, got uh, room for seconds, admirable, as Godmull is <laughs> bombed back in and Joburg is trying to size uh, up against him. He does get backed up by his boy eyes on though, and he's pushed him back over to the big door area, and they're still holding on to this point here. Nobody's quite capped it off. It's reset things back. Here and X is finally putting some toes onto that point, and he's even picked up a kill onto Godmull, but he will be traded with eyes on. Eyes on's kind of fluttering about, giving them the juke. Sorex is trying to size up against DD5+. Plus by friends but it's just him alone and he hasn't got the memo from the rest of LEGO that they've backed out there in their base of my This is a real momentum shift here for uh, Didi and those five abs they are ready to claim another round having taken that one so late into the game. Uh, <laughs> Schubert getting caught there by the stickies means that LEGO you know they're gonna push on this they like that one man and he's they're moving out and oh, Didi no, gets focused immediately. To try and save Didi uh, 5F and he went down anyway couldn't quite reach him and now that's an uber wasted and uh, he, Xy's even been caught out as well couldn't even use that uber to get uh, the rest of his players out so that's two players down off his own uber so now they're gonna push in and imagine the devastation where that LEGO can make with their own uber but Schoenberg is just gonna slam drop and they're already uh, trying to deal with the rest of this team here. See, where is Condom though during all of this? Uh, Condom's just hitting, uh, standing by his boy eyes on. It looks like he doesn't want to use whatsoever and everyone's trying to get on top of him but he's giving them too much of the jukes right now. They're claiming back this mid point and it, uh, they will get that and they still have that uber for the second point. And no soldiers up right now for uh, DD plus five so we're gonna see Lego able to just walk through here without having to endure that spam damage, that area control from the Dual rockets. Schoberg gets caught out there in the lobby between uh, Phil and Sorex. And that's going to be a continued man advantage here for Lego plus this Uber. Honey doesn't have his charge yet, so really huge ask here of his players to try and scramble to find frags here. Shabby onto Dr. Phil means they do have that demo man advantage, but it's only he and Ixie left live right now. Schoberg has just respawned, but he can't cover the distance fast enough. And what looked like a great opportunity for DD plus 5 abs ends in disaster as LEGO steal the round out right from under their nose. Oh man, DD plus 5 friends tried ever so hard to get that last round back, but uh, it seems just as they got it, LEGO just snapped back another round and make it ever so more difficult for DD plus 5 friends, or I, I guess I should say abs, but uh, 
I'm going to keep calling them friends, that's what they're called at the start, that's what they're going to be called now. As D5F is going for a massive big boy bomb, and he can't quite find anybody there. The rest of LEGO is kind of sitting back on this floor, they decide to try and coordinate now. And Sorix is getting some huge damage onto Q and X, but they're just holding the high ground so well over on DD plus 5 friends. <laughs> it's kind of scattered LEGO all over the place, and it's, the position was good enough admirable. DD went in for the Market Gardener kill, of course he did. He actually uh, connected the melee hit, but you know, didn't get rewarded with the crit as his feet had touched the ground. That's so Josh just trades with him there on the middle, but uh, yeah, DD not too disheartened here, Turbo, as they managed to take middle. Uh, in a familiar position, he would be in at one round down, but still five minutes left. And this huge uber advantage, they're going to be feeling confident going into last, but do they know that Aizon is back on the engineer? <laughs> I don't know, their worst nemesis of this entire map. This engineer has been such a pain for them to really get the trades they were looking for with these uh, uber advantages and uber trades as they are ubering in with DD plus, uh, DD5F. And now they do manage to take out the heavy, that's a very good plus. QNX does kill himself though, that's a minus, as uh, Ixie's trying to get back onto that point. She can pull the wool over the eyes, oh. she will do it yet again. Ixie, the only one who's got the objective. Uh, on his mind whilst everyone else is playing a nice little game of D DM on this last point of Marvel. Yeah, you know, technically I would call both those XE caps back caps, like, because the LEGO were not paying attention to the point, they were like getting ready to go and fight. Sure, they were on point, but you know, I'm gonna argue that case, so uh, XE with the two intelligent plays there, he's not just an uh, excellent fragger with big damage potential, but you know, he knows that caps win rounds, but here we are on middle number five, four minutes left on the clock. DD's been circling around, decides to counter jump to his own side, slams Condom, knocks Phil off, he's trying to chase that frag, but DD plus five abs are just wrecking these nerds here. They have put pedal to the metal and Lego, they're just smashed right now, only Josh remaining alive trying to regroup with his respawn and teammates, but DD rolling forward, taking middle and now about to take CP4, I believe. Oh wait, I'm supporting Lego, <laughs> dude, with this sort of thing. Yeah, DD5 friends have got LEGO on the ropes here, it is 2-2, two, two. I think they would happy, be happy with a draw, but they want to uh, take these points, the full three points for this map, they're only sticking up the point right now, they've got a scout on top of it, but they have to deal with all these other players who are just blocking this point out and getting so many cracks, it's just Q and X, uh, though he's trying to find out this last player, even Honey's getting in on the DM actually, he does a nice healthy amount of damage to Josh, and Josh was just too easy for Q and X. Uh, big shout out to Honey there, actually damaging out Josh, making it uh, look easy for QNX at that last moment. Yeah, I thought there'd been a, a little breakdown in communication there, but QNX was uh, just playing the long game there. Cleaning that medic frag first before finishing off the weekend, Josh. And now, for the first time, this map. Didi in the lead. Can you believe it? Can you? I can believe. It. I've believed all along as we are entering our sick middle, sick middle. As uh, it looks like Q and X is setting up a yeah. The first initial bombs come out for Didi plus five friends. So it's oh, just clean him up though. And Godnall actually. I don't know he came up, up the drop down and he had Honey isolated oh, in the elbow. Oh, Josh behind as well, he does a nice little flank, he's taken out Honey, he's got some nice damage onto Shafi as well, and now they're just trying to see if he can uh, clean up Condom at the very least, but no, it seems the mid will go back and forth to Lego. Two minutes left on the clock, are you, are you feeling lucky at my boy? At least three of these middles, the middles come up from the drop down, and again, nobody's paying attention except for Honey, who like, gets isolated from his team, they have no healings throughout most of the mid fight, but the mill totally whiffs the med pick, but Josh does come in to save the day there, and uh, now Honey reverting to his favourite favorite medigun, the vaccinator, the clutch medigun, they've got their sentry gun out here, he's going to have the vax, but you know, this may end up being a mistake, because like, Lego actually have quite a lot of time to work with here, if they at least want to secure the golden cap, but nice well, double soldier rocket spam there, just chipping away at the sentry with a splash. But I'm not sure how I feel about this vaccine. So it might be good in the very moments where you've got a few seconds left and you really need a medigun with those last little minutes of clutching. But uh, you know, after the actually, no, they're doing a very good job of just holding on to this. The picks are going the way of DD plus five friends, and I guess uh, I can eat my own words of my own. This vaccinator seemed to do a healthy, healthy amount of work there, just kind of protecting out and uh, really turning the tide in the DM fight on that last point, but they've still got vaccinated for this last minute. Yeah, I mean, Ani could definitely take this opportunity to go and change many guns, but he's decided to stick with it. And now that LEGO are aware of what they're facing against, they kind of push blind against it there. I'm sure they understand 
how you should defeat the Vaxnir, but they'd only gone in really with explosive classes there, and it was very easy for Honey to save himself. There was no real scout pressure at the same time, but if they can coordinate and push with multiple damage types here, the Vaxnir could get melted, but this is going to be a crucial test for LEGO right now. Do they understand the Vaxnir mechanics? Uh, Honey just randomly popping off a, a little charge there, a quarter of a charge, uh, I guess just for having bad feelings in the air. And Dr. Phil's trying to go for like a clever little play, but Ixi, he's the one who just runs in his oh, face Phil. and takes him out. That makes this uh, last push a lot less likely to happen. There's 10, 4, 13 seconds left on the clock. There's bubbles on everybody. Can they pop this last bubble though? They've only got 8 seconds left at all. Manhandling onto the point, but you see Josh has got the high ground, but Finn's on the bubbles! <laughs> Oh Wait, wow. They still win. Oh. They didn't get it. Oh they man, I didn't thought they had it. Get it. No. Oh, embarrassing. That was so close, like I believed as well, like the I thought they had it. Golden I was like they were just capping it. Oh. He God. did just enough. Even after Honey died, that bubble lasted for like two seconds, so uh the heavy was <laughs> Schoberg was able to tank those extra rockets. It was actually the melee hits from Condom yeah. that killed him, but he just survived long enough to seal out the round. Wow, that is. <laughs> I think that's like the closest game of TF2 I've ever seen. Past like uh, maybe that Viaduct on TLR where uh, you know Herpy didn't cap that last point, but it just. Uh... <laughs> Good God, am I? The the medic nerd in me is like. This, you know, faith wow. pam that, that even both teams didn't understand how to play around the backs near. Like, all of uh, Honey's teammates kind of got slayed by the push from their roller door. Like, they should have been kind of playing behind the guy with the bubble and, like, using the damage resistance, but they went and took a fight despite not having good buffs. But anyway, they managed to do just enough, exactly enough, and no more <laughs> to seal out that round. Oh, oh man, MG. I need a cold shower after watching that game in mind, but I feel like it's just <laughs> very filthy, but good god, I, you could say that the vaccinator won that game for them, I'm, I guess you could theorise that if they had the regular Uber, they would have, you know, the power invincibility is better than just being slightly resistant, but uh, I think that those bubbles do a lot more time, I guess, uh, than your average, and it does build a lot quicker as well than your average Uber gun. So I guess it's safe to say that Vaccinator won the game for DD plus five friends. I'm just uh, imagining Josh on Mumble right now. That fucking Vax shite. <laughs> <laughs> That's Balex. Sorry, Josh. But uh, uh, we should look at the logs. We should look at the logs, man. See uh, all right, all who's right. on form now for the next map. Do we have the logs? I just I'm trying to, try to find them. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the tried and true method of copy and pasting it out of chat and then deleting all the shit. I didn't want to copy and paste Valve because your chat sucks. Uh oh. Alright. Okay, I've got the logs before my very eyes. And uh, the first thing I see uh on this on these logs of my ball is the damage stat from DD five uh, F who was going huge for his team. Got a nice, healthy 9k damage, towering above everybody at my ball. That's a Roman over there. I keep talking. I'm trying to... Alright, well... Oh, Don't feel me now, beside him is Godmore. It seems like it was a battle, battle of the Romans. It seems Godmore was doing a lot more work to just keep himself alive, but uh, D5F, I guess, it just worked out better for them. While she do see the other combat classes start uh, uh, going in the favour of D uh, plus 5 friends. As uh, they are kind of sitting above there with a bit more damage, but it's so close admirable. Like these positions are not quite justified, as everybody's just kind of uh, separated by just merely hundred damage or so between between them all. Even the, I don't think there's a huge like standout letdown performance apart from maybe say Ixie, who's sitting on like twenty four deaths. There, it felt like when I was watching the game that Joburg was going down a lot, but. Uh, in the meantime, he was getting a lot of kills, so he just manages to even it out over on his kill-to-death ratio, whilst uh, Ixi, Ixi was not quite having the standout game that people uh, expect that DM Lord to have. Looking at overall at the, the team stats, more frags, but less damage for LEGO. They have 115 to 103 frags, and they're about 2k off the pace in the damage. And uh, just curious, the Uber charges obviously uh, slightly padded there by the vaccinator charges, but if you look at the actual medic breakdown, Honey had 11 charges on the medigun, whereas Condom had 12, plus a crits. 
uh, kind of had a little edge there, perhaps, Lego. They did. They were kind of sucking out in the middles, though. Looking at the mid-stats, it's 4-2 to two in favour of uh, Didi. So, perhaps, you know, uh, worthy winners here. Can't argue with the scoreline. I'm, I'm sorry, Lego. Yeah, but keep in mind, Lego were kind of pinned to their last for an awfully long time. And... Uh... Did make things dif- difficult. It's really hard to tell these stats. Which uh, are these stats are like? I guess the stats that were important. You can't really differentiate which deaths were the justified ones or the non-justified ones. But uh, nonetheless, I think uh, the stats do speak well that uh, they should have uh, walked away with it just from, I guess, uh, the kill stats alone and. Uh, those scouts there, the scouts on over on DD5F, uh, I expected maybe a bit more. Sorex was having a huge game, it looked like. He was sitting on uh, 28 kills and 19 deaths, despite being on the losing team, but it did come down to the wire, so... So many assists as well. Sorex is just shooting everyone. He's doing all those like three health, long-range meat shots just to get assists on people's frags. Yeah, he's not even slacking on the capping as well. He's just he's doing more... Uh, uh, actually, no, just as much as Izon, so it's not even about uh, leaving all the bitch work for the Swede. Uh, Shabby kind of out damaging Dr. Phil there by about a thousand damage, one and a half K almost. A few extra frags there as well, but not that much to separate them. It's hard to say exactly Some very what, close the, stats. what the difference was here. Are we going to give credit to DD5F? I'm, I, it, I'm telling you, it's sitting you, it's staring you right in the face of mine, but it's that vaccinator. There was eleven charges <laughs> on the vaccinator. I didn't even look like there was eleven charges during that game, but uh lo and behold, that's how many it says it was. Um I'm not sure what else to really pitch it to. There wasn't much like back and forth in the fact. It was mainly everyone would just kind of get pushed back to the last and uh that was the end of it. It was just a uh, a screeching halt and everyone tr- trying to push out from that goalie wash last but it's just proving way too difficult and plus keep in mind there was a lot of back caps during that game admirable nobody uh, performed that particularly poorly it was just uh, kind of failed executions or per team play yeah that's a good point i've been giving ixi a bit of flack for these stats but he was in the end the one who got those two back caps as uh finger air quotes so uh you know, if that isn't the most important stat, those uh, caps, what is it, Marvel? As we are actually entering our uh, second game of Marvel over on Viadel. I think we've just gotten started here. If you're just joining us, this is ETF2L uh, Season 23, powered by TT Esports. This is Week 6, DD5 Friends, or DD5 Abs, uh, technically, uh, versus Lego. As we are entering this first middle, and the first thing I see is uh, Izon getting on top of QNX, who is kind of bombing out there. They are getting a nice, healthy amount of space uh, uh, pressing forward with Dr. Phil, but he's been brought down so low. Oh, he just managed to enter back into the budding arms of his medic condom, and they aren't going to back off for now. Honey does keep his life. And uh, but he hasn't quite got anybody to heal, so he will be slightly behind on this Uber Charger Bible. Here in uh, ETFTL, we do of course play King of the Hill two first to three here. So uh, we're going to be seeing at least three rounds of action, but right now it is Lego who have taken control of that first middle and taken down that red timer. They've already gone themselves 30 seconds by the time we uh, see DD plus 5 abs getting ready to commit to a push here, they're walking their way forward slowly but surely but God Mills on Sniper they're trying to figure out how to deal with this or if they can just chip away at someone else and get a pick first but they're setting up, DD jumps forward, nice launch, gets a sweet rocket onto God Mills but can't get the follow up, two rollers go past the Mills feet but they don't do get, kill him. They do get the force onto Condom though and that, uh, Honey's milked him magnificently as now they're trying to get on top of Condom to see if he can quite finish him off, he was the one the low one after that fight, QNX is the one that's going to follow that up but nobody's keeping tabs on the rest of their team it's just poor little old Joburg left alone with his medic and he's going to be absolutely mauled by the rest of these dragon classes on uh, Josh and co as Phil's even uh, thrown himself in there now but it's complete coin toss as it's uh, turned back the way of DD Fry's friends Godmall is trying to see if he can give the good old juke but Ixie's got his number and will clean him up and the soldiers were even hot on his tail as well no getting out for the French soldier there it's the power of the respawns here on King of the Hill. If you're the team in control of the point, your spawns take roughly twice as long. So if you're taking a fight and you're still in control of the point, the longer it lasts, the faster your enemy is going to be reinforcing. So you just saw them 
get in. I chipped out there. Now we see a crit from Condom, and he's actually going to have an advantage if he builds this uh, efficiently. He's committing to the push, though, without actually having the charge up yet. He's taking a lot of spam as he tries to hide back, wait for his crits to work on the way forward. It's 5 on 5 here, though, as Aizan and DD are both down right now. QNX jumps forward to put a little hurt onto Lego. Do they realize that the crits is about to be popped off? Josh is looking for the rocket. Tony has managed to evade all these rockets. Josh does clean the frag onto QNX. He lays his life down so that his medic could survive. And the Uber is available. And Lego have only just capped the point. Not really much time lost here by DD plus 5 abs as they now push forward with the man advantage and the Uber advantage. Oh, Dr. Phil has jumped in there. He's actually forced the Uber out of Honey, who was kind of still hanging about on that cliffside area. Easy prey for a demo man. And they just backed off to this corner where they're building up their crits again. And, uh, but they're going to get a load of bodies onto that point and claw back at least a few precious seconds as uh, one scout, Iceland, has been killed by the sheer spam of Sh uh, Shappy and Co. And, uh, but it looks like they're getting this mid, uh, midpoint for three admirable. Going to see Sorex get brutalized there by Schoberg, Shappy and Ixie. But uh, they're looking good to go right now. They have a plus one man advantage. Their players are buffed and they're just going to lead with <laughs> DD. Oh, no, oh, God! What was that? This launch he's got wow. going, man. This jump that he's hitting is insane. He covers such distance. Then he whips out that Market Gardener and Condon did not see that one coming. It looks like uh, he's going for a, a good old traditional bomb where he just shoots a rocket, but then he pulls out the thing and you look pretty silly as a medic trying to surf away from a from a melee weapon at my ball, especially one that can crit your face off. Good God. I think my face just melted watching that. What is that jump? Is it like some crazy C tap? Because he just seems to be like in the air forever. He's got such speed. Like he did it to get onto Demul and then he does it again to get condom like Market Gardener. Oh my god, Didi. The things you do to me. Well the bright side of having that market gardener, you don't need any rockets reloaded uh for the uh, actual damaging bomb itself. You can just uh, use up to three rockets, maybe even four if you somehow find the health to just get into the face of that medic and it must be a nice string array of uh, jumps that worked out for them there. Oh, they even get right on top of Condom. Condom get, uh, gets taken out. I'm not sure if, uh, how much percentage you lost there and QNX will even clean up these last few players. The rest of these scouts are trying to back up uh, QNX here who's slightly injured and he will clean up uh, Sorex as well and they will hold on to this midpoint admirable. Lego still in the lead in terms of time but uh they did get kind of slammed there, but Honey's only getting back up right now. So the heels are going to be late to this fight, and if Shappy and Ixie stay here, they're going to get manhandled, but God Mull dies to the sticky trap. Shappy uh, engineering a little advantage for his team. Neither side has Uber right now. Lego oh, no, can Phil's really been caught out. Phil's been caught out in that middle there, overextending ever so slightly. Now Josh is the next one on the plate. He's trying to get on top of the health pack, and now that was all a bait all along. Killed with ease, says uh, Sorex, as he's kind of taken out that baited scout over on this area. They do have some stickies on the point, but they've been blown. Doesn't quite find, manage to find the kills they were looking for. Ixie does clean up an aggressive uh, eyes on in, on the back somewhere, and uh, but this is all well and good for Lego as they've got that last point. There's only a couple of seconds left on that point, and they've got 100% Uber advantage to kind of back that up as well. <laughs> wow, Condom just like immediately pops off his Uber. It looks like he wants to go aggressive with it. But uh, Honey, uh, you know, they don't quite do enough damage. Honey pops off with his own Uber that he just built in that very seconds of the game. D5F is looking a bit confused as he's trying to find somebody. Finally finds Condom, he gets on top of him. That's the heels taken out for DD plus five friends. And Jobo just manages to hold the line. He gets himself onto that point and he tips it over into overtime. Sorex is trying to stop this though. But what can one poor little scout do? Nothing against the power of Joburg, the Swede. The spawn's coming in faster again, they waited to the last minute before capping that, so now they're going to have uh, fully buffed players here who, as a just a welcoming committee here for these LEGO players coming in the respawn, there's only 10 seconds remaining for them to get in and find frags. The Uber probably won't come into it, Honey is closer though, only 10 seconds required to get that charge up. He's oh. getting slammed again by Josh on the flank, but immediately everyone else turns around to deal with oh, him. Oh no, they've got loads of people on that point, they need to defend that point right now. Get on the point, they, uh, everyone is screaming, but they're losing too many people, they're oh just being God. baited. It's just Honey though, he got the Uber charge, he's doing all his best, but now he's between switching and trying to extend out that point. He gets slammed with a direct between those, uh, I guess that weapon switching and it will go to Lego. Oh, what a conundrum he was faced with there, like he, he had to switch off the Uber just so he could keep the point active, otherwise it would have just uh, fizzled out as we saw, but wow.
What a first round here, right down to the wire here. And here we go, mid fight number two. Chappies, looking forward here, slightly more aggressive than Dr. Phil, but now looking for those heals. Neither team committing, waiting for those soldiers to set things up, and it's gonna be Josh jumping behind now, being chased by Schuberg here. Trying to spam rockets down. Does catch Schuberg, kills off that scout, wins that 1v1. God Mill comes in and kills Honey as uh, Josh was that cat amongst the pigeons. The Mill came in as the storm cat for him to claim that medic pick. And uh, Condom going down though on the other side. I didn't even see what happened. Yeah, it looks like Josh kind of boxed them in there. He went onto their cliff, and from there you could, have, or you could already tell that they were feeling a bit sheepish. They were covered from all sides and slowly being pushed into a ball. And they should really take the time to just realize once Josh gets behind in there, why he's picking up health packs, they need to go. That is the green flag to get in the faces of Lego. But it's all worked out for the best. They do manage to claw back that point, but they have wasted a few time, uh, a bit of time over on that Lego clock as it ticked away all the way down to the four. And yes, uh, is it Honey who got the crits here? Yes, he has. All right, Soldiers well. trade at a base, Steady and Josh both going down, but this crits is available. They're just hoping that they all get grouped up on the point. It's all on Shabby. The crits gets popped off, but the first sticky hits no one. And Lego are just going to vanish into a cloud of smoke here. Uh, Shabby jumps forward to try and make something happen, but the crits has proven totally ineffective. But they have managed to recap the point at least. And Joburg's going to go down to uh, a very hungry eyes on as he gets on top of that kill. DD5F, uh, actually Kieran X was the one that was going in there. DD5F is trying to follow up but can't quite get on top of Condom. So that is a suicide wave practically gone down. Honey's building that uber ferociously with his buddy Ixie in the spawn wave though. As they uh, now got that crits ready. They're still rocking that crits actually, yeah, over on... Uh, on Honey, even though they're aware of it. Let's see if their risk will pay off. It is very difficult to get this uh, this Uber charge ready, raring to go, uh, whilst the condom got that Uber. He actually pops it off just to make sh uh, sure, and Honey hasn't even used his crits yet. This is looking very good for them. They do lose a player on the back out, though, but uh, hopefully they can just push back in, use the fear of this crits to gain all this ground, but Sorex doesn't want to let them in for three, but he kind of overbite, uh, bites too, too much off the, uh, the Lego sandwich there as uh, it's just one poor little scout against a choke point. Shappy will fire off the first stick, he gets Dr. Phil, that is a nice little kill so far. He even gets a bonus eyes on kill. condom has been pushed all the way back, but Josh, Josh is a wonderful job taking out the flank. He just walks in there from the connector, uh, didn't jump, just popped off a couple of rockets there. Gets that pick onto Honey, and uh, the train of tyranny that has been this Crits Creek has been put to an end by our Irish saviour. Josh, oh. but look at QNX, he's in so deep there into that combo, trying to get damage onto Condom, but only he manages to weaken Phil. He was hiding in that little, the little boards area there, but uh, they were checking the corners like uh, good little TF2 players that they are on Lego, uh, sizing up here. They've got Godmore on the sniper, breathing down the necks of DD5 friends, and DD5F is the one uh, that has to do something about it. He does get some nice, healthy damage onto them. They actually pop off the Uber Condom board down low there, uh, probably from Ixie, who's caught behind now. They decide to go aggressive with it, push out the remaining of DD5F, but Ixie's still sitting about it. They uh, recapture this point, but Honey's gonna, uh, it's Honey's turn this time to build up another Uber and see if they can bring this Uber, uh, this point back to the DD5 plus friends. Ixie's in amongst four there eventually, guys. But uh, the real threat here is that God Mill Sniper. He's actually pretty decent on Sniper from time to time. I think he is a genuine threat, and uh, we've seen DD. You know, trying to get the bomb forward to focus him down, but... It's very scary, scary to see. How is Honey still alive? It seems... Oh, okay. <laughs> well... Uh, the genie, uh, Godmore, manages to grant my wish. He's been taken out, even though, uh, can't cheat death there, I'm, I'm afraid. Final Destination will find you, and, uh, oh Ixie! god, and so with the scouts over on DD plus five friends, they find Condom, they've taken him out as well, and this point is still... Uh, over on the side of DD plus 5 friends, they could probably still defend here, just spam it out, make it really difficult, at least not make it an easy trade, but Chappie's all alone though, somebody needs to help him out, and he's been killed as well. Where are the rest of DD plus 5 friends? This, uh, this second round has been super scrappy, but in case you're wondering what the state of the game is, Lego again find themselves in the league there, about 30 seconds 
ahead of the pace right now. The clock is ticking down in their favour and neither team is that close to getting Uber. It's going to be another 20 seconds. So, uh, a very dangerous game. Like, I think the best option here for DD plus 5 abs is just to push before the Ubers come up. DD's managed to make it around the left. They're surfing some scout damage. Can't trade with Sorex though. Does lose out in that 1v1, but Josh is cold in the connector. So is God Mool. They're just trying to distract and bait here. They're looking to get more frags, and QNX is going to be. Oh no! Who's taking out by Josh though? Everyone was wasn't thinking about Josh in that little connector area, and once they kept his eyes off him for just a mere moment, he comes around the corner, takes out only who is sitting on 95% of my but they needed that 95% to carry the rest of the round, and now there's just eight seconds left. They're sending again the a miraculous play by DD5F, uh, but they just Ubered on to point to really seal it in and put a nail into this coffin. There's still one more round of Mirable. Uh, DD just jumping into a pad as damage stats there, I think. But yeah, right now it is a map point for LEGO here. If they claim this next round, or any round, uh, and make it to three before DD plus five abs, they will be taking home three points here for their troubles. They've already lost three points in that first map, but they are potentially about to save some face here, Turbo. I said I was a believer, and the true belief comes from the dire, the most dire of situations. Let's see if my belief plays off as DD5F enter this mid, mid, and they don't want to commit anybody right now. They want to play things nice and slow, but LEGO want to go balls to the wall, and they've been punished for it. Eyes on is making do with all this space, though, but he's just been nuked down by the rest of uh, the remaining players. Sorry, so is manhandling the rest of the uh, of DD plus five friends who are on the back foot here. He will kind of back off, because we do have to deal with Ixie and all. Ixie, one shot, one kill. Sorex taken out, passed it down as they are moving on to this midpoint and they've got some time onto it. It's a good start for DD5F. The comeback is real. God no, uh, on the counter snipe here. Working his way forward, catches a pipe to the face though, but nobody's looking to follow up on that damage. They're giving God no, a lot of space here, but just so he can walk <laughs> into Ixie's crosshairs. Oh wow, the U was good, popped off though. Funny was the first one to blow the trigger as uh, Condom is actually going to follow up with his own Uber. Josh is getting the majority of a single uh, Uber though. Uh, he needs to keep in mind that he doesn't uh, use up all of his rockets though. He needs to defend himself. Oh, DD5F kind of slapping him out of the air there. Condom is actually the one there putting his uh, tail onto this point here, capping that out for the rest of his team. As uh, they are sitting back still, Ixie is still rocking the sniper though, and oh god, he is absolutely on fire right now, admirable. He's getting quite a string of headshots here. Yeah, I think <laughs> Lego briefly forgot about that sniper threat, but eyes on, uh, this is going to be his victim. Ixie <laughs> on the fill now as well, as DD plus 5 abs just pound forward and create so much space to just, you know, give him that uh, room to breathe and pop off shots here. Right now, Godmill and Sorex are kind of alone there on the left-hand side, but they decided to regroup. It's back to the drawing board here for LEGO. They're struggling to defeat this Ixie Sniper. They're going to put all their faith in Godmill again. And uh, he's looking the wrong way right now, but it seems like LEGO are stacking that right-hand side on the attacking perspective there. I like the fact that they're still rocking the Sniper, though. Uh, sniper be, uh, despite the Sniper, even if he's struggling to get this pick onto over on Ixie, it's still brings a lot of pressure as a sniper to have to go up against another sniper and you can tell here Godmull even catching Ixie off guard that's a sniper down as a player up for Lego they decide to uber in and see if they can kind of force the issue here against an overextended Lego but it seems they've checked their uh, their positions now QNX still finds his way on top of Condom though who's laid himself into the danger zone that little bunker area it was just him and QNX and QNX goes out on top there he does get punished for his sins but I think that's all well and good in the big picture. Yeah, it seems like uh, LEGO didn't really realise like what the, what the play was they were trying to make. It was essentially like oh, a no, kind of... Gonna go. Oh, Honey's being chased. Two scouts are on his tail. He does take out one. Could he take out the other? Oh. No, Sorex. Fancy footwork. Can't quite find him. Q and X is going to push him down. Deja vu for the Norwegian. As he feels like he's just done this to LEGO and now it's just happened to him as well. Lego uh, just coming out and saying, forget it, forget the slow push, we're going to come forward and uh, slam you, but Ixie's going to stay on Sniper here, he's been kind of undone in the, the last few engagements by Demul, but here he is, working his way forward, Demul knows that, that the action is coming from Cliffside, he's, he's shot up in his sights, but he's looking for a soldier bomb perhaps, flicks his crosshair up, but doesn't actually connect anything, catching a lot of damage here. The team health is pretty much neck and neck despite Schubert oh, being no. down right now. Josh in that uh, ever so familiar flank plays where he does a lot of damage. Eyes on is actually going in for the kill but can't quite like, well I say now he can't quite like no shot. 
misses the first two, but gets a nice meaty headshot, uh, meaty ones towards the tail end of no, that. No, Didi's in on the combo! <laughs> Skip jumps off the, the rock on the cliff just to change his momentum and change his angle of approach, comes in behind Condor with that Market Gardener and gets his second Oh, he Market gets a nice Gardner little drop. flank onto Gothmall as well. Nobody was paying attention to him. He must have hit Condom so hard he couldn't even come to his team. That DD5F uh, was behind. Uh, Eyes on, on the bright side though. It does get the, uh, the kill onto Joburg, but DD5F are going to walk away with this midpoint. DD5F, welcome to the highlight reel. Right. QNX is going to jump forward and launches Josh away, but the rest oh. of Lego are there, just ready to follow up on uh, Josh's playmaking. He's Josh jumping forward again here. He's insatiable. They have this man advantage and they're hungry for oh, frags. No. Josh is oh, in for a the push, the push little arrow coming out from Condom there. Uh, Josh alive, but he just missed that second one, but nobody's quite following all the damage. They're dealing with Sorex right now, who's been caught out overextended into the DD5F path as they are working their way onto that point. Condom does have his Uber. I wonder if nah, they don't want to go quite aggressive with it. They want to play this very uh, calm and calculated. They are right now. They are not fe feeling quite, uh, not feeling the pressure. They're taking the time with this as uh, Josh is sizing up, seeing how he can enter this uh, initial point. Condom just decides to pop off the Uber, the, uh, the red light to go. And uh, Kieran X pops off his own and uh, tries to size up Josh. Josh, though, does a nice little wraparound to kind of uh, kite the rest of them dealing with uh, DD5F. But meanwhile, Ixie and Co are pushing up against the, uh, I guess, the heads of Lego, but they're doing a good job just sustaining themselves. But it seems the, uh, the manpower is slowly turning towards the DD5 friends' uh, way as they will hold on to this midpoint. They've got eight seconds left. They have to make a push. And Aizon will go down. Ken Condom uh, channel is in the honey. He can't. He cannot. Phil's going in. And he's been minced in the air as well. It will be that round. It will be the comeback admirable. Suck it. It's going to happen. It is. It is happening. You know, you have, uh, I don't know, done your little rain dance there. Whatever it was. It's working. <laughs> That voodoo doll of uh, Josh you have, man, please stop stabbing it. But right now, yeah, it is the comeback here uh, from Didi and those five abs. Alright, Godmore manages to actually go behind this time. He doesn't want to use any sort of sniper, sniper shenanigans. Uh, and Dr. Phil is just using all this space. Look how much uh, damage is laid into the enemy team, but the scouts can't quite enter themselves in there. And DD5F still managed to squeeze out just from the number of advantage alone. DD5F is going aggressive there. Gets the kill on the condom. What a huge kill coming uh, from this room. He's just he's doing wonders on this map of my world. He's got, he's got the market gardener, he's got the rocket launcher, he's doing work. Dr. Phil jumping forward there with the solo hero bomb. No coordination there from LEGO. They're just uh, all at sea right now. <sighs> what close. is going on? Josh was right on top of uh, Honey though, and oh, they managed to create a nice little wall to really protect Honey there in that final moment uh, as uh, Honey's brought back to full health. He still has that Uber charge ready, and Condom has to start from scratch with his own. Let's see what sort of plays uh, LEGO can come out with uh, when they try and, I guess, force out this Uber in this probably suicidal wave. It, it couldn't be worse than the last one. I feel like I was watching the open tier play product there as they bombed in one at a time in single file into the waiting four players of DD <laughs> plus five abs. It looks like they want to just, uh, uh, you know, prey on this. Oh, actually, DD5 actually takes himself out there, and Ixie's rocking that sniper as well, but uh, Godmore's also playing sniper, and we have a pause at my one. Is it a pause? Confirmed? I hope so. <laughs> well, you know, just from sheer coincidence, I'm sure if, you've, if you're paused, I'm paused, we're paused. Yeah. I don't see that uh, red text popping up in the top right, so yeah, I'm going to believe it's a pause. I did uh, update status spec, and now I don't have the anti-freeze panel, but you know, I'm quietly confident <laughs> we're in a pause. I'm watching Dr. Phil suspend it in midair, uh, send it a sticky pretty much directly at, at Honey's head. Uh, unfortunately, stickies don't do headshot damage, but <laughs> he has the potential here to get the force out. I mean, he's still got good health. He's definitely going to be able to put a second sticky and even man. press that right click button. It's, it's tough, Demo Man. Yeah, and keep in mind, he, he also has his eyes on with a nice little buff. And it looks like he wants to tear, uh, you know, rearing forward, back up his uh, his Danish compadre in this uh, bomb. So it will, I'm pretty sure it's like 80% chance of this happening. It's, it, I guess it's probably better to stop whether or not honey will drop or if honey will uh, pop. 
I am going to say Honey will pop. Uh, yeah, I can see. I mean, unless God more, uh, Demol, I should say. I feel like I must over overwhelm his ego just saying God more so much about these casts, but uh, maybe uh, Demol can get a nice angle onto it, but it's really difficult to just get on top of Honey here, so I don't think he's going to quite get the drop. I think it is going to be a pop. Like you said, but uh... We're kind of in a, a shitty position. Pardon my French, Dermo Tabs. I mean, they're already two players down. They have the Uber charge, sure, they're feeling confident about that, but they're putting themselves in a, in a spot where they're going to easily get forced, whatever happens. Uh, they're going to have to Uber here, move forward, and hope they can get some frags. Condom's actually positioned such that, you know, pretty easily QNX and Shabby could jump forward and at least get that med pick, but it would probably end in a trade. I mean, Ixie's playing Sniper there, but he's half health, he's going to die to uh, any sustained pressure. And of course, like, they're still in control of the point, so like, these spawns are going to be slow. If Lego just dragged the fight out, they're definitely going to win in it. Uh, the only saving grace here for DD plus 5 abs is the fact that uh, they still have 3 minutes on their clock. Well, I think it comes down to Ixie here. If Ixie can go absolutely huge... Uh... Because I don't think they'll want to lay on top of him quite uh, in that very moment here. And I don't think he wants to back off. I think he knows that there's no aggro uh, being drawn to him right now. So I think he, if Condon overextends just a little bit, he will give that shot to Ixie. And that just leads me to believe that Condon will just not want to move whatsoever. Because jo keep in mind, Josh was taken out by a sniper there. He should have a uh, sniper on the brain. So... Uh, Let's see where these other scouts are positioned for Lego though. It looks like uh, even Soros could get a nice little flanking position as well. There's no uh, immediate backup as both DD5F and Joburg have gone down. Let's see what happens. It's real time and they've decided to pop off the Uber immediately. You were right. That sticky does uh, put, put Honey into an uh, uncomfortable position. He pops off the Uber. But there's nothing quite happening in the aftermath it seems. Oh, except Dixie uh, showing Demo who's boss here. What is a god to a non-believer admirable? The, the end result of this was that their suicide play was successful. They got the foresight, and now they have a huge advantage here. It's a 90 second lead right now for DD plus 5 abs, but Lego getting ready to push, but QNX sees it coming. He's straight onto Condom. Condom's super weak before he pops there. QNX really had to work hard to get that foresight, but get it, he did. Both soldiers going down here for DD, and uh, they just kind of back off and allow Lego to cap before they come up with a push of their own on the respawn. Now this is going to be really difficult to cast with my because I'm not sure about you, but my hood is completely broken and it carried on ticking over. I had no idea what that time we were sitting at before things were paused, so... Uh, I can tell you. I guess the game it's, could come quite a shock. It's uh, 240 for LEGO right now, and uh, 110 for Didi, so like, I mean LEGO are behind here. But we see uh, Uber coming out here from Honey, they actually get forced on main, they only actually get one frag, they've lost Ixie, but they do jump forward and get Phil here, Shabby, QNX and Showbro oh, really go at it. Oh, as well, that's a really big pick, oh QNX even gets the bonus kill onto eyes on, DD5F is going to help out, oh I can't quite get on top of Sorex though, that low ground, really uh... Oh this is where the pause happened, somebody uh, somebody on, was disconnected from the server there briefly, oh Demul, of course, Demul. Wouldn't be a Lego game without Demul getting dropped, and he is back on the field right now. But uh, the clock guy ticking down again in favour of DD plus five abs. We see the aggression coming out here from Lego. They know that Honey doesn't have that charge yet, neither do they. But they're just going to go forward and take a down and dirty fight. Both soldiers jumping oh, around. DD five F is on top of Condom. Now he gets the kill, and it looks like it's going their way. They're just uh, equalising out. Honey's trying to kind of group up with the rest of his teammates, just kind of blob up, make sure nobody. Gives the easy, uh, gets the easy frag onto Honey. They're gonna immediately get back uh, that point and that timer, and uh, it's going back in the way of DD5F. I think they're gonna bring this back to a, uh, a fifth and final round. round it seems up. like uh, you know what Lego were trying to achieve with two soldiers, like getting in onto the medic. The DD's able to do single-handedly here. Like he's having a high success rate against Condom. And it makes it easy for the rest of his teammates to deal with this aggression. Josh is going to jump forward onto Xe. Two rockets sends him to the spawn queue. Oh. God, Mill's gone down though. Oh, Josh went in there really into the thick of things. He actually did enough damage to kill himself, but it terrified Honey, who did not see that damage coming. Just pops off just uh, from getting so low. And Condom now is trying to get a slice of things, but there you go. There is that uh, second round, that fourth round on the board for between both teams, and it will go to the fifth and final round. 
I believe, I believe. I've abandoned uh, my Lego colors here. Let's go, DD plus five abs. Yeah. Oh my God. calmness. All right, match point. Let's see who gets the best foot forward in this uh, final fixture, in this final round, in this final map for both of these teams in week six. And nobody wants to commit right now, admirable apart from, and you can see why Lego don't want to commit. They've got that sniper. Oh God! And, uh, <laughs> the guns just come blazing as they've just taken out everybody in a swift uh, double soldier bomb. But hey, uh, Demo got some nice sniper shots, you know that's summer. Kunix just jumps forward onto the rock and stands there for like <laughs> three or four seconds, unloading rockets and gets two frags of his own before Dee jumps in for more of that cleanup. Now it's just the God Mills show. He's beat out his entire team. And he's looking for highlight clips here. He's killed off Shappy. He's gonna find Qnx as well. They have angered the God. Josh is working his way through the connector here, he's jumped behind to grab the med pack, he's looking to spam Ixie here, Ixie's totally unaware that Josh is right on his back, and uh, he's going to clean that frag with ease, meanwhile his honey's popped off and he's walking back into Josh's hands, but sees the medic, he's jumping around, honey serves a little bit, they've got eyes on coming in as well, but choppy there, just the brick wall, you shall not pass. Oh, no. Destroyed DD5F there, who was going aggressive, trying to punish these players who were getting on top of the point here. Uh, God, there's just so much action happening all over the place with Mineable. How do we cast this? It's like a, casting a football game with uh, 12 balls onto the pit, because Q and X is going in now, seeing if he can uh, get that kill to Sora. It's got a nice little ball onto him, he's been taken out. And this time they won't fall for the shenanigans in that connector anymore. They, uh, not only did they take out Demo, but they also take out Eyes on as well. Dr. Phil's even getting uh, slightly pressured. He's probably going to be chased out by Schoberg here. Q and X actually picking up that kill for the final stretch of it. And uh, it will go back to DD5F. Believe it, my will believe. It's working. Fat spawn wave coming in for Lego. They are five up, but they don't have their demo man, but they're looking to probably suicide here. They have uh, the backup of God Mule on Sniper as well, but you see the soldiers getting buffed up. Josh is going to jump forward as far as Connector sees Didi there, and is uh, taking so much damage he just has to go back, and it seems like Lego are trying to do a slow Oh no, is that Condom Sticky Trap? <laughs> How? Condom Where? Goes down. I didn't... I, okay. I was looking at the midpoint whilst uh, all that was going on. Well, now it's time for the suicide in, and Honey's just not getting scratched at all. He does get catch some damage on the tail end there, but he, he gets a nice little health back. Eyes on is actually getting frags, and everybody in the frustration to uh, defend Honey, they just lay down their life to instead. And Ixy gets the kill onto Demol. No sniper for you, my friend. There's, no, it's a sniper versus scout. I hate this uh, moment as a scout where he just can't quite hit that sniper, and he's hitting you with that goddamn SMG. They still have this huge uber advantage here. Honey can actually pop off now to block the point. They're going to jump forward with QNX. They uber, but they don't get the block, so they have to stop the cap right now. But uh, it's only a small loss in time. They're still well in the lead here, over a minute ahead. QNX is jumping forward. Oh no, QNX has fluffed his uh, uh, rocket jump though. Dr. Pill, nice direct onto him, onto QNX, who fluffed his jump there, made it easy for Lego as they're going to re enter this in. Deepwall doesn't seem to care that he's uh, died a few times in the sniper, he's still into the thick of things. And oh, <laughs> nice, two for one special! Oh. Good God, buy one, get one free uh, over on the rumor for DD5F. I can uh, hear the highlight reel from here. See you on YouTube, my friend. <laughs> Just like a million deaths from Condom all at the hands of DD5F. Now he's got gonna see uh, Q and X jump forward straight into Phil. No protection there from the scouts, they're just like daydreaming right now as uh, Aizon eats a pipe close range. Schoberg runs into chase down Sorex. And Lego were kind of throwing this away, like in the most literal sense, like they have uh, well abandoned the. Uh, their dominance, like they were 2 0 up map point, and now it's slipping out of their fingers, man. Yeah, they have opened their clients, they are playing full tilt poker as we speak, and uh, they've got 25 seconds left on this clock to claw back this point. But Honey is sitting on a nice 100% advantage, you can just uber off the point man, and really stickies. lay into it. Oh, they've dropped Chappy though, that is hope, glimmering hope for Lego. Maybe they can juke this, uh, this scout for long enough, and Joker can't quite fight. Aizon has he's come back into the pudding's arm of his medic and this is the pushback now. Lego can still make this come back, there's three seconds left on the clock, so they don't even have to worry about uh, kind of giving this point over to overtime. Even I don't know what Joe is doing. Oh, 
and Kondom is so scared he does not oh, want to deal with shot. D5F as he will pop off the Zuba, 40% advantage for Honey and he's got so much breathing room right now, he's got like a full minute and 40 seconds to make this push happen, he does have a, 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 a lay waste of a few of those seconds to build that Uber but hey, I'm sure they've got, uh, they're have got they feeling a little bit more comfortable. Demil needs to go huge here, he needs to try and uh, get an early pick just as this push comes in, maybe even drop Honey but uh, if this Uber comes in and they haven't, the oh, hasn't hit a shot, like, they're going to be short -handed. I've seen this uh, pitch before though, and uh, Sorex is trying to get in, and DD5F is even wrapping around. He's trying to deal with the, the uh, I guess, the Demol headache, and in the meantime, the rest of the soldiers are just blitzing the uh, DD5F. They do get on top of this point, and it is about objective gaming, but they've only called away three seconds. But QNX is just stretching this long enough, the DM is working! <laughs> They're doing it, Mireball! They're going to get the six points! Dr. Phil, what can he do? Nothing! As it is, GD has been called. The full six points will go to... DD plus five friends, five abs. Man, you, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. Like, Demil, still playing sniper at that point, had to hit shots. Like, it was uh, obviously favouring... Uh, Honey and DD plus 5 abs with that uber advantage and they really did get forward and make it difficult for Demil to hit those shots. People talk about, you know, how Sniper is so powerful on this map, but they dealt with it well. Uber always comes in handy and they just managed to uh, edge it out there. So Lego leave this fixture empty handed. I kind of jokingly said in the pregame turbo, oh, if DD gets six points here, they still won't be ahead of Lego in the table, but they did get six points and they're going to be in that fourth spot. I don't know the results I, of the other games, but it wow. must look like a TF2 genius for somehow putting all in onto the uh, the DD train and it has paid off wonderfully. I'm going to go back to the uh, to the bank and just cash in all my chips at my ball. <laughs> you can't hold all these hats, yeah. you just want in saloon. <laughs> State dinner tonight. Mrs. Tabs will be pleased. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's look at some logs in my ball. Let's relish in my victory. I mean, uh, DD's victory. You got them logs, boy? You got uh, that link? Got, <laughs> oh, I can oh, find man. it from the last one. Oh man, can't you, you need to punch in the punch in the players' names? Come on, man. Oh, Sim hitting, was hitting us with that ID. I have uh, whipped up the logs here. And wow, <laughs> top top damage and uh, top frags, but it looks thing is Sorex. 34 frags, 17 assists, 18 deaths, and 321 damage per minute. It doesn't surprise me. There was times in that game where he felt so on form and comfortable with himself that he was comfortable with like holding choke points by himself, trying to delay out an entire team. A few times uh, it did not work out for him as it should, but a few times it actually worked out for him. So uh, nothing to really blame out of sorts there. But the thing that grabs me, and to, sorry to be picking on people, admirable, but uh, Dean Dude. and his, uh, his, 21, his 27 deaths, excuse me, uh, not quite helping out the team. Keep in mind, the majority of the game, he was playing Sniper, so he should be in a safe position. He should be in the back lines, not dying so much. But uh, it seems DD5F and Ixie were just making that difficult for him. Well, like, if you look at this, I know maybe we can't see it on the stream, but if you hover over the class icons on logs.tf, the mill stats on Soldier, 7 kills, 4 assists, 16 deaths. You can understand why he was playing so much Sniper. He went 10 for 2 for 11 on Sniper, pretty decent. Uh, not like dominating, but he hit 17 headshots. Like He was doing work for his team, but really didn't have the same impact that DD5F had on uh, Romer. Like, look at DD's stats, 31 frags, 4 assists, and uh, 28 deaths. Like, yeah, lots of deaths, but he was getting things done. Just looking at uh, his med picks for the game, he managed to kill Condom nine times. That was the most of any player killing a medic in this game. Closest behind yeah, him. Yeah, that's keep in mind that's just as as many times Honey died in total. DD five F actually <laughs> killed uh, killed Condom more times than Honey actually died. That's unbelievable to think about. Well, like we have to ask whose whose job is it traditionally? Like, what is the meta? Or the standard play on product and it's the scouts who so often deny these rumors like where was Sorex, where was Aizon, why was uh, Condom I tell you finding themselves 19 deaths 10 deaths ahead of Honey here, 19 deaths for Condom 
I can tell you what they were doing in mind. Well, they were in, getting into the thick of things because they had a sniper in the background. They uh, don't have that presence of a roaming soldier who's getting really uh, into the thick of things for them and in that huge amount of damage. They kind of have to do that as well, whilst uh, the scouts over on DD5 Friends they could deal with those soldiers and the aggressive play and then go and follow up that damage that their soldiers have made for them. I don't even agree with that because like Josh was getting behind all the time and doing so much work on his own but like whilst he was going behind and making the distraction play Didi was just going like directly into the combo or always seemed to find condom and like I don't know how much Lego have practiced this map like they say they have a notoriously poor practice schedule and they didn't have Phil but the, yeah, but Josh just... had his, I, I give you that. Josh definitely had his moments where he went huge, but there were uh, all the times that he did fail kind of just sink into the background because you kind of expect it to happen. Like You don't expect uh, a soldier to go in like uh, like Josh uh, by himself and come out with these huge kills. A few times he did, but uh, I would say just as many times he didn't. And it's no blame on Josh. I think it just uh, comes down to DD... 5F managed to get a lot more work done on this rumor than Godmore could get on this sniper. They were getting like really stretched out because Josh was going in behind all the time, constantly behind. And then you had the scouts there and Demul playing like on his side of the map as sniper up on the balcony or whatever. So you had Condom kind of unsure of what to do in the middle here. Should he move forward and get in the fight? The scouts trying to like push forward to work off Josh's distraction and Dr. Phil in the mix somewhere there. And so often he was just like kind of exposed or caught out. I'm sure that was part of the reason that DD had a field day today, but it was, uh, for me, it just seemed like LEGO hadn't practiced enough. They weren't really solid on their positioning, and Condom was the one who paid the price. Well, we, uh, I'm not sure what else I can really draw from these. Uh, on the bright side, though, I'd say that Godmore wasn't doing as much work. He did manage to hit 17 headshots admirable. That's, uh, that's quite impressive. I've seen enough stats for one day, man. Alright, okay. You know what time it is. We'll put the toys away. <laughs> it's, the, it's time for drama. Although, uh, as usual, we don't have any representatives from LEGO. They only come when they win. And uh, they didn't win tonight. They got slammed. They picked hey, up now. Uh, zero points. Usually Dr. Phil is a good sport about this. And he does turn up to interviews. I don't know where he is now. Maybe he's just uh, can't quite find us. He's, a bit, he's expecting Admirable to be on the primary stream. <laughs> <laughs> from Twitch chat. Stop making fun of Mongol man for fuck's sake. He is a great soldier but surrounded by Dabu. <laughs> Such memes. Uh yeah, welcome, honey and DD five F. Hello. We were singing your praises back in week four when you caused what some people would have seen as an upset against Team Infused. Uh you didn't have the, the same success last week against uh Publiclear, but now, you're back and you have just made huge gains here on the league table, taking all six points from the number three team in Europe this week. How does it feel, honey? <laughs> uh, I screamed. That's how it felt. Nah, it was really good. The team was really hyped for the second game after we won Godly. I like a fraction of a second. I don't know how long it would have taken for Quantum to count that point, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty damn happy. Oh, we do have more people here after I called out Lego for yeah, not the, being the scratching, in the interview. Can I say the scratching at the door. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep them out there for a while. I don't want to hear these guys. No, no, we'll bring them in. Joining us now uh, in the, the Mumble channel, we do have uh, 91. Is that the Hello. 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 We got Condom and we got Dr. Phil. You're transmitting here, Demil. Come on, push the talk, brother. Sorry. So uh, we were just uh, talking there about the the turn of fortunes again for DD plus 5 abs. It was a hype game, both maps, super close. But for long periods of both maps, you were playing from behind DD. How did uh, you guys manage to you know keep your composure there and dig deep for the comeback? Well... Uh, do you want to go? Uh, yeah, I guess. But there was a there was a bit of arguing throughout. Like uh, we failed a few last pushes, and we were just holding outside, not sure what to do. Like it's just our thing that we're just a bit stuck on last pushes at the moment. I think we'll just get over it. But um, nah, we just wasted so much time on it, and they were able to just counter our mistakes every single time. And it was only the last round that 
they got really unlucky on and the time just ran out. But yeah, it was a really close game for all the maps. Do you feel like you didn't deserve those three points on Gully Wash? Just the, <laughs> the dregs yeah, of a vaccinator that. bubble? I think, yeah, the, va the vaccinator was good. Uh, it worked well. But yeah, we weren't really defensive on the last point, which is probably why it worked so well. And it was lucky that we were able to buy enough time with Schoberg on heavy. But it, it was all close. But we were always the ones that were pushing. And when we made a mistake, they counted it properly. And then, yeah, they pushed us back all the way and got a few rounds out of it. Demul, you know, the question on everybody's lips is, why did you let Dr. Phil play demo again? <laughs> That's so rude. You can't say that. I'm a rude guy. Oh, you can, but I don't care. Fuck your ass, ah. I'm good at tier 2. <laughs> <laughs> you know the cast? Can't play the game, shaking my head? Thank you. <laughs> no problem. I finally Anytime. met my match. That's what I want, some banter. <laughs> but you know, I was uh, surmising there at the end of the map. I'm assuming that LEGO didn't practice block much. Am I accurate? Uh, we played only... Once? We Twice. played only two maps against Infused. Tuesday, yeah. I think. That's all. Fucking Phil was in holidays in fucking London. Yeah. Like, why would you go in London for holidays? You know, you go Spain to hot countries, I don't know. But London? Come on. He's doing it for a good cause, man, you know? That hugs.tf. Uh, uh, 10 days? You can go only for a weekend for that. But nah, I... Adamant. Adamant. Yeah. You're getting fraud. We lost points against... Another bottom teams. Like Infused. Fuck Infused. Fire. Straight fire coming out here from the mic of the mill. <laughs> Cosmo, I wanna, I wanna hear your perspective there, particularly on that uh, product, the Viaduct map there. Like, you <laughs> so many deaths. That. I don't particularly feel it was your fault, but do you feel let down by your team? <clears throat> no, I feel more let down by myself. I feel let down by everyone. We all played bad. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take the blame for this one. Not all of it, at least. But a big part of it. A big part of it, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Tamil's washing his hands of it. He's like, hey man, I hit 17 headshots. It's not my fault. Uh, <laughs> my headshots were well, not that useful, though. Like, I always headshot someone, but he survived, so. That was us. I don't know. I don't know what did we lost, but we did. It's okay. We're gonna fuck uh, public clear next week. Yeah. And go to the playoff. Boop, boop. Do we uh, do we know any of the results from the other games tonight? Spoiler alert. Yeah, I tell think me. Infused tight for public clear. <laughs> nice. Oh yeah. So they are just ahead of you right now. So uh, that means D aren't quite in the playoff spot yet. They're down in fifth, I guess. Hmm. Uh, so yeah, I think the, the playoff race is definitely still wide open. Are you guys yeah. going to practice then for your last game of the season? The main season? Yeah. Yeah. We have to. <laughs> the fans demand it. I demand it, you know. I want to see uh, see big game plays coming out from Demo. Uh. Did you guys just think this was going to be an easy game? Did you not? Did you underestimate no. your opponent here, no. Phil? We don't go into any game thinking it's going to be easy no. with yeah, uh, because our past we, performance. <laughs> we only under, we, yeah, we, we underperformed a lot against <laughs> bottom teams. Yeah, yeah we, we, uh, we have a close game against everyone. <laughs> yeah, except in shoes where we slumped them on Badlands, though. Um, Fucking uh, shoes, too. <laughs> What was uh, what was your team's you know feeling coming into this game, honey? Were you showing some respect to uh, the leg team that surprised many last season? Uh, I think they've gone off the boil. Nah, we thought it was going to be a really close game. Like we played these games in scrims, it was pretty good. Like it was a long time ago, like sunshine and stuff. But no, they're nice guys, and yeah, it was a very close game, and I don't really have any uh, anything against them. Demil, nice guy. What? No, I'm not a nice guy. <laughs> All right, okay. Apart from Demol. He's the nicest guy. I look <laughs> at it at your uh, next fixture then for Didi coming down 
to the wire in week seven there. You have four skings. And uh, that you guys are right there in fifth place, ready to leap into the playoffs. No, I think us against four skins is like we're kind of rivals because last season we both came up obviously from high. Oh yeah. So it's gonna that's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be close, I think. Game of the season. Game of the season for playoffs. Well, we have what? to play on bad dance, so it's not our best map. Yeah. What a story, though. Uh, that's pretty incredible. Like you guys are within touching distance of the playoffs. I believe, TurboTab's beliefs, I think maybe TurboTab's belief in you guys was just the factor that separated these two teams that were so evenly matched today, because <laughs> TurboTab's was uh, unflappable in his belief in the power of the market gardener. How dare you, I'm professional, unbiased caster. How many market gardeners did you get? Like three. Yeah. Uh, two of them were drops as well. <laughs> nice, Gundam, nice. It's such a good weapon. <laughs> it's a skill yes. rewarding weapon. You can't blame him for that, to be honest. Oh, really? Yeah, like, oh, what's he gonna okay. do? Pop it! <laughs> Pop. One, of, one of it was crits as well. Still counts. Still pop it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, DD uh, kind of stole the show there, guys. Not just with the Market Gardener plays, but obviously they are having a highlight. But uh, just constantly finding his way into Condom. He seemed to be able to do what uh, Lego were looking to do with two soldiers just on his own. Uh, DD5F for Premiership debut of the season? Could be. Throw it out there. <laughs> Iceman, I think Iceman played really well as well, XC. Played really well as well. Yeah, I think it was a really big star performance from uh, DD5F and Q1X. XC did really well as well. And, you know. Yes. Yes. Uh, well, the, the the question about the effort, like the amount of practice that Lego put in for this week, I just want to know, DD5, how much effort or practicing did your team put in? I just want to know if uh, how much of a difference maker it was in this result. Maybe if uh, put so much more time, in, it was. Uh... We didn't. We didn't really put a lot of time in this week. Like we didn't scrum on Monday. Did you scrum on Tuesday? Because I wasn't there. DD. Yeah, we scrummed too. Yeah, Tuesday and Wednesday we scrummed. So we only played two days this week, but we played uh, two scrums in both. Man, admirable. It seems like nobody wants it this season. They just don't want to play the game. We do. I, I wasn't available. That was the reason. That was the only reason. We usually play uh, five days a week. Damn. Why not five days? Four. You know, man, we're like, uh, we're like the Israelites here, you know, wandering through the desert for 20, <laughs> 24 seasons. <laughs> Of uh, top tier action. We're just looking for a little love valve, you know? Show us some matchmaking, please. Take us to the promised land. Uh, that's all anyone wants, man, you know? It's, we've been playing this game for a long time. Just, you know, shine light on us. Get more people into the competitive scene. I have a uh, huge belief in a bright future for TF2. <laughs> oh my god. Thanks, uh, to our interviewees here, Demul, Condom, Didi, Phil, Honey. I want to give you guys an opportunity to, you know, shout out. It's an open mic. Just jump in there. Go for it. All right. <laughs> I'll go first. Shout out to Tech, Bull, Flippy, and you, Twitch chat. Oh. I'll go then. Oh. Shout out to Ryan, Amy, Seppu, Sammy, Ipli, Lucy, Siege, Fate, Sen, F2, and Crystal. Nice. Uh... Shout out to Team Infuse for taking points off of LEGO. Um, uh, shout out to Asidious and uh, shout out to all my friends watching. Shout out to uh, Admirable for ha having this uh, Gundam meme game on point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout out to the team and Smudgy and Bebo TF. Condom, I actually think you're an excellent medic. I you know, I in, love in the past I was a doubter, but last season, this season, until this very game. Admirable, thought... you are my hero. <laughs> you taught me how to Kiss play ass. Medic, my man. Kiss ass. <laughs> Back in Div 3, you probably don't even remember. Well, Condom, you know I nerd. am a uh, two-time Highlander Medic of the season. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, no, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm Prem Highlander Medic now, so uh, come at me. Yeah, Condom, the torch <laughs> has been passed, you know, you smashed me in the Highlander playoffs. Yeah. 
put that in your resume. Oh, it is. Then a potato. Okay, turbo tabs. What's on your mind, buddy? Uh, I guess shout out to everybody watching. You're know, the reason we do this. Shout out to Only Squad. Uh, shout out to Sim, who this wouldn't all be possible without him, and also everybody else on production as well. Yeah, nice production. Shout out to those Premiership War Ranger dickheads. We thought it would be a good idea to schedule four games on a Thursday. <laughs> but, but, thankfully, Saito was able to secure the default one against Force King. <laughs> well played, Saito. Keeping the dream alive. Yeah, he's really? been trying that uh, the whole week. All right. Oh, and thank you, Turbo, for believing in us. We needed that belief. Yeah, fuck Turbo. <laughs> <laughs> I was cheering for Lego, but clearly not not enough. Once the comeback started on Viaduct, man, you know, it was I had to get on that that DD hype train. Oh my god, <laughs> woo woo! But yeah, it was a really entertaining game. We're down to the last week, guys. So uh, keep an eye on TeamForest.tv forward slash schedule. Uh, shout out to David the Win and Turbo Tabs for doing like all the work this season and getting the games organised, the events, and everything. And uh, stay with us right through until the playoffs coming up near the end of March. Of course, there's going to be Gamers Assembly right now. It seems like uh, Saito might be trying to send some AIDS Brits out there as well. So the dream of a decent international French LAN, it's still alive. More details on that as we get them. But uh, I'm planning to go. So at least me and Twiggy are going to be there. Damul, are you going to LAN, buddy? No. Why did he even ask? Like, even uh, there was no fun. French team. I was supposed to go, but French team died before. So, fuck that shit. I'm not going in for speaking. You could come and cast, man. You could be like our salty analyst. <laughs> He's gonna know it's a cast. There's <laughs> some of these players going. We might not want him now. Oh my god! Right, that's it. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Shout out to Turbo, shout out to Sim, and all our interviews. Peace out.